I believe I was telling you all about how to know when you are being tested. Usually when foolish things begins to happen, things that absolutely makes no sense, you wonder why or how confusion can happen between you or anyone else, chances are if these things are happening, you may be getting tested. Now, there are people who are choosing to disobey God. When you choose to disobey God, curses are going to be placed on you. So I am not speaking about those people right now. Who I am speaking about are people who are serving God and who have been serving God. So, I watched this YouTube video and it was really, really encouraging. So let me paraphrase her dream, this woman's dream, and let me refer to her as person A, and let me refer to the teacher that is in her dream as teacher. I believe it was an angel. Anyways, so this dream took place in a classroom. So the teacher brought person's A's grades to her. So person A saw some A's, some B's, one C, and one D. And person A was really shocked that she received a C and a D. So she asked the teacher, hey, how did I receive a D? So the teacher said, you received a D pretty much because your patience is really bad. But it was good enough to pass with a D. And person A was really shocked that her personality was being tested. So person A asked about why she received a C. And person A did not tell what personality trait she was being graded with when she was graded with a C. So the teacher said, for this area here, I don't know what personality trait was graded, for this area here, it is not really bad, but it is not really good either. This is why you received a C. So person A asked about the B's and the A's. So the teacher said, well, in those areas, you are doing really well. This is why you receive A's and B's. And when I was listening to this whole thing, I already knew the concepts of us being graded and being tested. But hearing it from a different person in that way, that really encouraged me so much. Because I am going through a test right now. And it is one thing knowing that you are going through a test, but hearing that other people are going through it as well, it encourages you, it pushes you to hear what is happening on the other side, in the other realm, about what you already know. 
This is why I tell people, no matter how much you have read the Bible in the past, it is good to continue to read it because even when you know the information, when you continue to read it, read the Bible, it stirs something up within you. It refreshes you. It, I believe it builds you up. The Bible is not a normal book, so you can't treat it as so. Continue to read it no matter what because it is going to encourage you. I was doing some things today and I was listening to an audiobook today and it was on the book of Revelation. And I continued to listen to it over and over and over and over and over, like so many times. And there are so many things in that book I don't understand, but when I continued to listen to it and listen to it and listen to it and listen to it, I started to pick up on some things. I sure did, and it makes much more sense to me. I am not as lost <laughs> now. I can pretty much understand some concepts to it. So maybe 200 times more listening to it and reading it, I may be able to teach on it. <laughs> and perhaps the book of Daniel as well, or the prophetic part of it so I pray that this makes sense you are being tested since you are being monitored do myself I believe that I am doing well with being tested now but hearing what I heard it makes me want to do more. Yes, I am being persecuted. Not so much persecuted. Yes, I guess I can say that. Yeah. But that makes me... Because, let me say this. Usually when bad things happen to us, we want to run away from that issue or those people. And sometimes God does not want us to run away from those people. He wants us to be in there and perhaps by being around those people, perhaps, you can change that person by them viewing how you are living your life for God. I'm telling you. I am telling you because perhaps one year ago it was this person <laughs> to make a long story short it was this person crazy this person was acting in a weird way toward me and I was around this person for a certain amount of time. And by me being around that person, I believe, I believe that this person saw how a servant of God should act or in example of how a person who serves God should act. I am not saying that I am the top elite servant of God. But there aren't too many. <laughs> there aren't too many people who are actually properly serving God. And I am not saying that I am on the highest level of the highest levels. I am not. But sometimes God places us. I believe this. I believe it. 
that sometimes God places us in areas where we can influence others. I believe that. I believe it. Because if not so, why does he allow particular sinners around us? If not, we are not supposed to influence them. Why would God allow particular types of sinners around us if he doesn't want us to influence them? Think about that. If God doesn't want me to influence those sinners, why would he place them around me? <laughs> so obviously, he wants me, perhaps, to bring those people to God. If not by words, by actions, by you watching me. And let me tell you something, even if you believe that you are not being watched, you are being watched. Myself, I don't really speak to many people. I really don't. But I am always watched even when... I am not looking to be watched. <laughs> Someone is always watching me. Why? I am just an average person, below average perhaps. Why watch me? But it happens. When you serve God, I believe it is in Matthew chapter 5, where it says that you are the light of the world. So you are going to stand out when you serve God. Yes, you are going to stand out. So let me stop here. I pray that this makes sense. And if I can find the video, I may post it in this video somehow. So I pray that this makes sense. God bless.